Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Greater than greater than it was getting late when someone had the idea, why not play some music from the homeland? It was probably Denver's Nikola Jokic who sent his Slovenian teammate, Vlatko Kankar, up to the Grand Destino Hotel to fetch a speaker. He brought it back to the Three Bridges restaurant, the social hub of the Coronado Springs Resort, where perhaps an unprecedented collection of Balkan basketball talent assembled, lounging comfortably with dinner in their bellies. It was August 26, the night the Milwaukee Bucks protest stopped the NBA bubble in its tracks. This group that shared a common Serbo-Croatian language, Jokic, Kankar, Ivica Zubic, Luka Doncic, Goran Dragic, Yusuf Nurkic, Nikola Vucevic, Mario Hazona and Boban Marjanovic, decided that they weren't going to waste the free evening that none of them expected them to have. We didn't know what was gonna happen, if we were going to continue to play or not, Dragic said. I say, okay, maybe this is the last day in the bubble. You never know, so let's have fun. They played Serbian music. They belted out their own voices along to the lyrics, unrecognizable to all bystanders but themselves. They drank shots of Rakija, a Slavic brandy. I'm more like a beer guy, Dragic said. For me it's really tough to drink that hard liquor. I'm 190, I'm not a heavyweight like Marjanovic, Vucevic, Jokic, those guys have pounds on me. Some details remain fuzzy, was there some shirtless dancing involved as the night wore on? Participants cheekily smiled when asked about that particular rumor, unwilling to confirm. But the important part was that they were together, this small group of basketball stars from the same homeland who speak the same language, reveling in the remarkable fact that this union could even occur. After a month and a half of grinding through games every other day, the stoppage was a moment to convene and celebrate, to talk about home. I really like it. I really like it and the guys enjoyed, just we were having fun, Jokic said. Just to speak with a lot of people who speak your language, just kind of share the opinions, the experience that we have, talk about whatever. Being a stranger in a strange land is nothing new for the players from the region once known as Yugoslavia. From Dragic, who is 34, to Doncic, who is 21, they've shared similar paths, had to go through the same cultural adaptation. There's rarely a time where they can revel in that common history, maybe Eurobasket, Dragic offered, we hang out sometimes but not seven or eight guys. The three-day stoppage gave those players time for lunches and dinners, and in the relative isolation of the bubble, and in a larger sense with complications to traveling home during the COVID-19 pandemic, that companionship meant a lot. Dragic posted a picture of one of these dinners to Instagram, a row of massive men from the Balkans all smiling at the camera at a Grand Floridian restaurant, 